welcome back to my channel guys and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel in this video i'll talk about all the latest leaks on the upcoming ios 16 and without wasting time let's get to the video ios 15 was released last year with a lot of needed changes to the notification system as well as introduction to the focus system an improvement to FaceTime, experience and more. With this, it is possible that Apple is currently working on the successor for the iOS 15, but with the removal of iOS 16 still quite some time away, it's hard to say exactly what Apple has planned. But as with most upcoming tech release in 2021, there are already whispers and even links that gives us a rough idea of what to expect from the iOS 16. So let's start with the rumors on the always on display as most people will already know always on display is something known to be for samsung Galaxy. but this time around there are a lot of rumors around that apple is actually bringing the always on display to apple phones also with the new app icon changes in the mac os monterey it is possible we see the scene in the ios system According to iDrop News, bigger changes are coming to the iOS 16 looking at the improvements to the maps and weather apps in the iOS 15. In a recent publication which the source was not revealed, suggested that it has been told that Alan Dai, VP of Human Interface Design at Apple has been working on a new icon with his team for around a year. No specifics were provided, the site claims that the design trait of the update icon will be very similar to the Mac OS Montreal icons. Also, with the current rumors on Apple AR glasses and VR headset, there is a possibility that Apple could introduce a software to control the devices in the upcoming iOS 16. With that, let's move on to which iPhones will support the iOS 16. Apple mostly gives 6 years upgrade to their phones, so it's possible iPhone 7 will be the least phone that upgrade will be available for. So how much will the iOS 16 cost? Most people already know this, Apple mostly offers their OS upgrades for free so we could expect that this time too. And that's all for this video guys, also I'll be uploading a follow up video on the release date of the iOS 16 soon, so please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. See you next time and bye bye for now.